April 12th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 25 and 26 from the Old Testament. O Lord, I come before you in prayer. My God, I trust in you. Please do not let me be humiliated. Do not let my enemies triumphantly rejoice over me. Certainly none who rely on you will be humiliated. Those who deal in treachery will be thwarted and humiliated. Make me understand your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me into your truth and teach me, for you are the God who delivers me. On you I rely all day long. Remember your compassionate and faithful deeds, O Lord, for you have always acted in this manner. Do not hold against me the sins of my youth or my rebellious acts, because you are faithful to me. Extend to me your favor, O Lord. The Lord is both kind and fair. That is why he teaches sinners the right way to live. May he show the humble what is right. May he teach the humble his way. The Lord always proves faithful and reliable to those who follow the demands of his covenant. For the sake of your reputation, O Lord, forgive my sin, because it is great. The Lord shows his faithful followers the way they should live. They experience his favor. Their descendants inherit the land. The Lord's loyal followers receive his guidance, and he reveals his covenantal demands to them. I continually look to the Lord for help, for he will free my feet from the enemy's net. Turn toward me and have mercy on me, for I am alone and oppressed. Deliver me from my distress. Rescue me from my suffering. See my pain and suffering, forgive all my sins. Watch my enemies, for they outnumber me. They hate me and want to harm me. Protect me and deliver me. Please do not let me be humiliated, for I have taken shelter in you. May integrity and godliness protect me, for I rely on you. O oh God, rescue Israel from all their distress. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have integrity, and I trust in the Lord without wavering. Examine me, O Lord, and test me. Evaluate my inner thoughts and motives, for I am ever aware of your faithfulness, and your loyalty continually motivates me. I do not associate with deceitful men or consort with those who are dishonest. I hate the mob of evil men and do not associate with the wicked. I maintain a pure lifestyle so I can appear before your altar, O Lord, to give you thanks and to tell you about all your amazing deeds. O Lord, I love the temple where you live, the place where your splendor is revealed. Do not sweep me away with sinners or execute me along with violent people who are always ready to do wrong or offer a bribe. But I have integrity. Rescue me and have mercy on me. I am safe, and among the worshipers I will praise the Lord. God, it was interesting. I was talking to somebody I know, and they're struggling in life with a lot of things. And definitely headed in the direction of, woe is me, everybody, and everything is against me. Heading in that direction. And so with Grace, um, we had this conversation about the fact that the choices he had made in the past, what he was experiencing now, all of this turmoil he was experiencing now, were all consequences of that sin. And I remember saying to him, if you continue to choose sin, over God's will, if you continue to choose what you selfishly want over what God wants, you will continue to have this turmoil and not peace in your life. And I remember him saying to me, how do you know that? So we got into a bigger discussion about how did I know that you would do that, that you would bring peace to his life instead of turmoil. and. Um, one of the things I remember telling him was exactly what chapter 25 says, uh, where it says in uh, verse 6, Remember your compassionate and faithful deeds, O Lord, for you have always acted in this manner. 
God, you are the one constant in my life. Your actions, your love, your grace, your mercy, all of that is consistent. Uh, I'm always a little bit humored when I'm baffled by what you're doing because all I need to do is go back to the Bible and I can see exactly you doing the exact same thing in the exact same situation over and over again. Your reaction to us is just, um, we keep trying to put the filters of the world onto our actions uh, and then apply them to you and, and we just can't do that. Um, you are consistent. Uh, you want us to be obedient. You want us to love you. Uh, and when we get those wrong, then there are consequences. And the sins that we're choosing have those consequences. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I'm, I'm more than grateful for the forgiveness of my sins. But you're also really clear in the Bible that even though you forgive my sins, there are consequences based upon my choices good and bad. And so when I was telling this friend of mine that there's going to continue to be consequences, he's like, how can you know that for sure? Well, I can know that for sure because I did it in my life. That the more and more I'm insistent upon not doing what God says, the more and more turmoil and frustration and angst and drama happen in my life. Now, that's not to say that since you came to be part of my life, God, that everything has been hunky-dory. <laughs> um, but in the midst of all of this chaos, there's this incredible peace that as long as what this person was praying in chapter 26, as long as I'm obedient, as long as I'm living a, a non-corrupt life, as long as I'm living something that's pure, as long as I'm staying away from the bad people, as long as I'm doing what you, you've asked me to do, God, I know that there'll be peace in my heart. No matter what my decisions are, as long as I continue to follow you, amazingly, I start to choose what you want rather than what I want. The prayer in chapter 26 is something that I really should pray every day. Um, and you know me, God, I tend to pray this prayer, then I work on what happens. And then I, when I feel like I'm ready to tackle something else, then I pray it again. But they examine me, O oh Lord, and test me. Evaluate my inner thoughts and motives. I, I for the most part, know when I'm sinning. I know, for the most part, I know when it's all about Janelle. And mostly, I know about that because I'm being intentional about choosing that sin over what you want me to do. So, so, so those totally on me. There's other things in my life that I need to work on that haven't become fully, I'm not fully aware of them. And it's not that I'm being naive about them. It's just, we just have those things about us. Um, but you know, you know clearly what we need to change or remove or learn more about in our lives in order to uh, follow you at a deeper level, uh, be more obedient to you, love you more. And so I love when I pray, examine me, O Lord, and test me. Evaluate my inner thoughts and motives. Show me those things and then give me the strength to work on them. You know that that's a, a prayer that comes from my lips about once a week. Uh, and you do. Uh, and I'm always a little bit, a little bit gun shy, God, when I say those prayers to you. And you know that. Um, because I know that same day you're going to show me what I need to work on. And it will come to me in, in four million different directions. All right, and we sit down, we do the hard work, and we figure out, you know, is this a short-term thing? Is this a long-term thing? For the rest of my life, do I have to work on it? And I kind of have all of those going on in my life. Um, and then when I think I have a handle on that, that current situation, then I come back to you and say, examine me, O Lord, and test me. Evaluate my inner thoughts and motives. Show me what I need to change, remove, do, and give me the strength to do it. And we start that process all over again. And... Today, God, I, I ask for strength in praying that prayer sooner than when I think I'm ready. I guess that's the next thing I want to work on. Uh, I want to constantly be working on what you need me to do and need me to be. Um, I don't want me to be the one that feels like I'm ready. Uh, you're a much better judge of character th of that than I will ever be. I also ask that you help others who are listening today to pray that with you. Examine me, O Lord, and test me. 
evaluate my inner thoughts and motives. Show me what it is that I need to do, what I need to think, what I need to change. Give me the strength to do it. Um, Because I know you'll answer their prayers. And it's just a powerful um, and very fast way of growing in a relationship with you. Sometimes very painful, I will be completely honest. Um, But I have grown so much in my relationship with you since praying that prayer from chapter 26. Uh, I know you listen. I know you answer. And more importantly, I know that you give me the strength to change Because all you want is what is best for us. And amazingly, what is best for us is you, (laughs) which is crazy awesome. God, I love you so much. In my words, please look inside my heart. Please look inside my actions. Please look inside my thoughts. If there is anything in there that is not pleasing to you, God, please bring it to light in my heart and my head so that I can change them, so that I can become more obedient to you, so I can be more humble to you. More importantly, so that I can reflect you better to other people, so I don't come off as a hypocrite. God, I'm praying this today with so many things on my plate, but I know that you know exactly what I need, uh, way better than my control freak part of my life trying to figure that out. Today, God, please show me what it is I need to do. And thank you for showing it to me. In your son's name I pray. Amen.